Hi again, we've got an update to Howler 2019, and this is build 30, and let's take a look at what's new. Uh, we've got the gradient domain for saw blending, the stamp tool, improved blemish removal, um, matching a palette of one, min one image to another image, uh, easing functions for animation, and animating with the line and circle tool in addition to our regular curve and uh, keyframing type tools. So let's just dive into this. All right, I'm going to Howler. Let's load an image here. Say we have a feature we want to remove, like this uh, traffic type sign here. I'll select it and make that a little better. Let's see. Go down here to our fill menu. We've got replace a feature and select that. And we can just pretty much just select uh, a new matching part of an image that we want and call it a day uh, that's great but we also have an option that will uh, uh, say maybe these colors didn't match very well uh, we have an option that will color match that for us so that's also right there in the fill menu now called color color adapting replacement um, and there's some other options here that are also experimental. One one-click feature is a bit uh, computationally expensive, but it will uh, uh, manually search for a perfect match or the best match it can find for you. So um, let's also take a look at some of the other features. Uh, now say I have some kind of vehicle or something here and I want to select this, but I don't have all day to, uh, to make a selection for it. I'm just going to naively... Uh, make a lasso around it and select it okay great so one problem with this is well we got this ugly selection that's where Poisson blending comes in or editing in the gradient domain and if you can look around on the internet you'll see what this is all about this is uh, um, say you have this this plan or something and you want to paste it into this image here well, you would see that just naive alpha blending would give you this really rough edge, but Poisson blending will uh, go ahead and take care of those edges for you because it works in the gradient domain instead of regular spatial domain. Um, you can see some other examples here, this this uh, this flame in this on this ball here. Uh, and with Poisson blending, it just kind of seamlessly adds it in there. Uh, this penguin is just naively copy and pasted, uh, but with Poisson blending, it looks like it's... Um, really part of the image so it's not only taking care of the uh, the edges for you but it's also uh, integrating the image in a way that's uh, more natural looking it, it adds the uh, the ambient lighting and all that sort of thing in there for you um, another example is this hand image they just take this rectangular cut out uh, eyeball and paste it onto the hand now if it were just uh, alpha blended it would look like this but with Poisson blending it looks like it uh, seamlessly blends in with that so Let's bring that into a new image where we want to paste it. I'll select brush, stamp tool. Uh, we can scale it down. And we'll just go ahead and paste that in there. Poisson blending stamp. And that's it. Um, and that's Poisson blending in uh, Howler. All right, let's move on to some other uh, features here. Let's say we have a brush here we want to pick up and use as a, some sort of animation. So let's just grab that with the custom brush selector tool and create an animation real quick. All right, just 30 frames will be good for now. Um, let's do something with the line tool first. And uh, we'll go here where it says animate. Uh, you can drop down some options for it. Uh, you also uh, can drop down easing functions. Let's go ahead and just use linear for now. Um, click here, drag, and it just go ahead and animates along that line. Uh, say we want to lo rotate in the uh, direction of that vector of that line. We can do that, and there you go. Um, I'll clear this animation. And you can see it just go ahead, goes ahead and animates in the direction that we point it. Um, we'll use some of those easing functions, say... Uh, ease out and that's basically it um, you can also do this with the circle tool now I'll select that make sure I'm on uh, the animate option there let me clear these frames 
I'll keep that rotate by vector on draw a circle and there you can see it animates around that circle uh, really simple so that's uh, the new animation tools in Howler you can use any any brush pick up anything off the screen you want to use uh, and animate with it uh, real simple um, So those are the new features in build uh, 30. Uh, that's of Haller 2019. Uh, in other words, this is also uh, would also be named uh, Haller 12 uh, for those who have used previous versions. And um, it uh, adds a number of uh, new features over version 11, uh, namely um, brushstroke preview, new stamp tool, new rewritten text tool, re um, visual recently used document list, uh, frame, saving frame sequences from Puppy Ray, GUI improvements, um, some, and some other, uh, other features. Uh, and um, this will be the version throughout 2019. Uh, currently, the price is on sale, $29.99 at squirreldome.com. That's my own personal developer's website. You can also go to thebest3d.com. Uh, be sure to get it now because the price will likely be going up. We had a special arrangement with uh, our vendors on Steam, but since that arrangement is uh, now uh, not uh, active anymore, we will be raising the price back up to a, uh, a slightly higher price. So be sure to grab it now. Uh, thanks for watching and talk to you later.